I read your article, Five Steps for Flashing a Deck Ledger, and wondered if there's any risk of condensation inside the rim joist of the house that's behind the peel and stick flashing tape installed over the wall on the outside. Randy, what exactly do you think Andrew is worried about here? He's worried about the permeability of the foam insulation that he's putting against the rim joist. If he's using a mineral wool type product, yeah, that's paper open. Moisture is going to easily flow through that. If you have a cold surface on the rim joist, yeah, you could have a problem. If he's using a product like an EPS or an XPS, he's not going to have much permeance moving through it, you know, the, the, the water vapor moving through the product. And if he's got it airtight, it shouldn't be a problem. The only other thing that could potentially be a problem is if he has got a capillary problem with coming off the, the foundation, water vapor moving through the wood assembly, ending up wetting. You've got that slower drying potential inward, and you have a vapor retarder on the exterior where it can't dry. Anything you want to add to that, Mike? I hadn't even thought about the capillary action of the foundation, but I think that's really important, especially at the rim joist and mud sill area, because if you are creating a, an area, in the, especially down low like that, that's not going to dry any moisture that's coming up through the concrete, presuming it's concrete foundation. I don't even know how you could resolve that on a retrofit situation. 